Hi here, Finn's here. I'm back for another video, and I've already done a, my overall thoughts about the semi-final one running order draw. Well, it's time for my thoughts on the second semi-final, semi-final two running order draw for Eurovision 2024. So this time around, 16 countries will battle it out for only 10 spots in the grand final. But who's going to qualify? Well, the running order is being published, and remember. You've got to remember that this year, the automatic qualifiers will also perform in the semi-finals during the other competing countries. However, they will still get an automatic pass, so they will not be competing in the semi-final. But they will perform live, which makes things a little bit more confusing. <laughs> but anyway, the running order goes like this. We will be opening the show off with Malta, followed by Albania. Greece, Switzerland, and Czechia, and then we go to one of the automatic qualifiers, which is France, and then we continue off with Austria, Denmark, Armenia, and then in the second half it's Latvia, and then we go to another automatic qualifier of Spain, and then we continue off with San Marino, Georgia, Belgium, Estonia, and we go to the last automatic qualifier, which is Italy. And then rounding it all off, the final three are Israel, Norway, and Netherlands. We'll be closing the show. Okay, well, I've got mixed feelings about this running order. Um, yeah, um, well, first of all, um, what I predicted for semi-final two running order was a bit different. I, my running order prediction was Austria, Greece, Czechia, Switzerland, Malta, Albania, Armenia, Denmark, Estonia, Belgium, San Marino, Israel, Netherlands, Georgia, Latvia and Norway. Okay, so let's go. Let's start off with the show opener, Malta. Malta. I'm, I'm quite surprised the producers did pick Malta. I kind of thought it would be Austria as the show opener. Um, I thought it was going to be one of the go of um, pop girlies in the semi final. Um, but I thought Austria. You know, we will rave. I thought it would be a bit more like a more bigger way to open the show. I think Malta is still a nice way to open the show. It's surprising considering this second year in a row Malta's performing early, but at least there's a show opener, so you can't complain on that. Um, but yeah, um, will this help Malta to qualify? Who knows? Albania is given number two <laughs> again. Well, this time it's a semi-final, not a grand final running order, but yeah, Albania. I wonder how the diaspora is going to help this year. And Greece gain number three. Well, I predicted they were going to get number two spot because it would be the out there entry that could survive the number two spot. Um, but he, I wasn't far off getting it. It got three in the end. Um, but it is interesting that... You've got two Balkan countries next to each other, the only two Balkan countries in the semi next to each other, Albania and Greece, which I find quite interesting. Um, and then we've got Switzerland um, in four, which I did predict right, but then Czechia five, then Austria six, Denmark seven, Armenia eight. So now I see Armenia near the end of the half, considering last year they opened. Uh, no, they didn't open it. They performed second last year, and I was kind of worried, oh no, the producer's going to do that again with Armenia this year, but no. Um, yeah, I mean, mm, it, 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 it's a nice contrast of sounds and music. Um, yeah, and then in the second half, Latvia and San Marino. Okay, I've got a bit of a bone to pick with these producers. I'm not happy. Why on earth have you given San Marino the number 10 spot when the song is called 11-11? Eleven, Eleven? 
you were so you were so close. It was like could you not like move Georgia and San Marino? No. Ten. It should be number eleven. These producers are idiots. I mean, honestly, whoever came up with this running order needs a P forty five, in my opinion. But um, maybe I'm a bit over the top. But I, I think it's just a missed opportunity. I mean, why couldn't they not put it number eleven? Why is it number ten? It's, it's not fair. <laughs> no, okay. Um, but if we are going to go back to that, the automatic qualifiers um, that aren't competing in the semi-final but will be forming, I do find it quite nice that both Spain and San Marino are next to each other in that sense, considering both acts have been in, in Benidorm Fest now. Um, so, yes, and then we go to Georgia. Second year in a row, Georgia gets the 11 spot. Um, yeah, I kind of find that a bit weird as well. Um, and then Belgium, that's a nice contrast. Estonia, a bit quirky, a bit out there. And then Israel, a bit serious. Norway, a bit out there. And Netherlands, definitely a bit out there. Okay, okay. Now, we've got to talk about the elephant in the room about the Dutch closing. Um, I've just realised the two um, closers of both semi-finals are both by, um, Benelux. Luxembourg and Netherlands. That's nice. Um, Netherlands closing. Um, you know, I think people will love it. I, you know, people clearly it's a popular song. For me, it's not my cup of tea. I, maybe it'll grow on me, but I don't know. I feel like why are the producers kind of favouring the Netherlands every year? I kind of feel like with Estine, and she came like. She was like near the end of her first half in her semi final. Then me and Dion last year performed second to last in their semi final. And granted, they didn't qualify. <laughs> we were late slot last year, but even so. And then you this year close at your semi final. I mean, and then you can do that in the opposite direction. Serbia, going back to semi final one, Serbia gain early draws every year. I mean, it's just quite weird because. I don't mind the producer running order. I'm in all. I'm I actually. I'm in kind of favour. I prefer producer running order. I remember the days like 2012 when it was a random draw and it was a complete mess. Um, I prefer a producer running order. Don't get me wrong, but it needs to be fair. Like it needs to be fair on these countries. You can't keep favouring countries. You have to play safe, and you and you've got to play fair. I mean, um. Yeah. I, I, I just feel like, I know maybe it's just us fans, you know, that you know, take into account every year's running order, but I know, but it's just not fair on like countries like Albania and Serbia, and, you know, always get early draws, and yet you've got countries like the Netherlands, you know, and some others, you know, that always get late draws, and they're always fair. I don't think so. I mean, if the Netherlands didn't perform that late last year, I wouldn't have an issue with it, but they did. So I don't know why they favor the Netherlands again, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking too much about it. For me, I would have preferred Norway to close. Norway was my closer. But Norway is still in a good position for me, second to last. That usually is a good position. Unless you're Peter and Dion from last year. Um, and of course, Israel is 14, the last ballad of the night. So I think Israel stands out um, with all the out-of-the-box entries. They're the most serious out that last run of songs. Um, so yeah, I definitely think like the winner of the semi-final could be from actually the last three songs. Israel, Norway and Netherlands, depending on how the votes go. Um, but yeah, I mean, it is an interesting running order, um, in that, and I mean, Latvia, uh, let's go back to the top of the second half, Latvia, I feel like, just feels like, um, I could miss out again, I could, especially coming on after Armenia, quite high impact, and then we go to Latvia, 
I don't know. It's interesting. Latvia and San Marino at the start of the second half. is, And then you put more favourites on near the end. I kind of feel like... I could have probably put like Ivan Latvia or San Marino a bit later on in the second half, if you know what I mean. To make it a bit more fair, if that makes sense. But yeah, yeah, I mean... Um, yeah, it's an interesting running order. I mean, it's also very confusing with the automatic qualifiers apart this running order. It just makes me go, my brain go, oh. I mean, whoever came up with the idea needs a P45, in my opinion. Don't get me wrong, I like that the Big Five and the host are performing live in the semis. But I would have just kept them separate from the competing countries that are performing in the semis. I would just keep both the party separate, you know what I mean? Because it's just a bit confusing for me. Um, I'm sure they won't involve the big five of the hosts in the actual voting recap, because surely, because they automatically qualify, you don't need numbers. Oh, it's just, I don't know, I just feel like, EBU, I mean, what a year this is going to be, I mean. I mean, honestly, the return of Luxembourg to everybody ignoring Israel, this year, I mean, honestly, and now you have the big five and the hosts and the semis. I mean, uh, honestly, <laughs> this year, it's just too much for me. But in any case, um, what do you think of the semi-final two running order? Comment down below in the comments below. What do you think of both semi-final running orders in general? And what is your thoughts and feelings about this new change at Eurovision that we've got for the big five and the hosts? Um, performing in between some of the songs in both semis. Comment down below in the comment section below. Um, is it confusing like you or is it just me? I oh, don't know, no, it's quite late filming this so <laughs> my brain's always at this time. But anyway, comment down below, like and subscribe to this channel.